One of the great advantages I feel that Emmett County has uh, for a place to live, work, start and grow your business is really the quality of life. We have all the resources of a big city and yet very few of the big city problems and challenges. We have uh, uh, great cultural as well as educational opportunities and we have some of the best recreation not only in Michigan but also the, the Great Lakes and those combined make Emmett County uh, hard to beat. My responsibilities of running Grand Hotel require me to be here um, but because we close our business for half the year uh, during the winter months we've had the opportunity to, to literally live everywhere in the world and we've chosen to move to Emmett County in the winter time and and have our children go to school there and be part of that community because of the quality of life. There is a ambiance about this community that to me uh, goes beyond just the visual, it goes right to the soul. And it's, uh, it's in the, the shoreline that you're walking along and you pick up some Petoskey stones. It's actually listening to the waves in November crashing on the shore. It's really uh, so much in, the, in, in who you are as a person because it, it goes right through you. And I think it's, uh, it's not an intellectual decision to live here, I think it's an emotional decision to live here. David and I had lived in Chicago for 14 years on the North Shore of Chicago and it was a lovely place to live. We, we loved it there and then we, when we built our home on Walloon it was just increasingly hard to go back to Chicago and we just um, found that we were so attracted here and we were just so sad when we had to leave. Through the revolution in technology over the last 15 years there has been this uh, incredible ability for individuals like myself and many many others that are able to work and play at home and it doesn't matter where you are. No one that I deal with and, and my uh, profession takes me all over the world does anyone ask where's your office and uh, thankfully because of the technology the internet FedEx UPS um, we're able to do what we do and we can choose where we want to live. My roots go back to a church camp in northern Michigan. I believe that you know, Lake Michigan and the Great Lakes are really like the ocean um, without the salt and sharks. Uh, it is, you know, world-class boating, it's great swimming, and we looked at it as spectacular physical beauty, greatest sunsets, and uh, fantastic values in the people. Um, it's safe, it is accessible. Um, you know, when we started Bay Harbor, we were over two hours or 100 miles from any major metropolitan city and everybody, every banker, every you know, appraiser said, you're nuts. But we knew that there was historical roots here from the late 1890s and early 1900s of people coming up as a destination because of the water, the clean air. And, uh, and now today with technology, it's a great place to not only vacation, but to live year round and also to uh, you have the technology to be able to work here and have it be a base. This is just a really good place to live. Good things are happening. You know, it's that whole thing of momentum and, and things catching on. Well, it's catching on. And I believe, you know, um, Emmett County is probably uh, going to be a place that is going to help Michigan regain its, um, its footing in its economic development picture. Uh, we have lots of, of extraordinary, inventive minds that are probably going to come up with something that is going to help turn Michigan around. That's the kind of people who choose to live in Emmett County. This is really an extraordinary place to live and work. It has wonderful resources. People want to make sure there's good health care. We have, you know, a tremendous hospital in Northern Michigan Hospital. They want to live where there's, you know, culture and the arts. Crooked Tree Arts Center is outstanding. And they want to live where there's good education opportunities. North Central Michigan College provides that educational experience uh, for higher education and our K-12 public schools do an excellent job. We have a great county teamwork going on in, in how they uh, move our county forward. We have an extraordinary airport in Palston Airport. Um, it's, 
it's beautiful. As a, a year-round resident who runs a local conservation organization, people approach me a lot of time and say, you know, gee, we come up here for vacation or we come to the cottage for a month or two in the summer, but you get to live here year-round. And I say, yeah, I do, and uh, I, I enjoy that. I center with the Conservancy on the natural resources, but there's more than natural resources here. We have great human resources. We have a diverse, wonderful population, both local people and, and people who have been resorters here, or who have retired here. We have an economy that, that has good diversity in it. The native population here, the tribe, Little Traverse Bay Bands of Odawa Indians, um, has embarked on major uh, economic and health development programs that not only benefit the tribal members, but their community. We have our regional hospital, our education system, and community college. Um, when you talk about balance, um, we've got a pretty good balance in Emmett County, and the fact that we are able to manage and maintain all of these developed uses, all of these economic activities, and yet still have a very high level of awareness in the population of the importance of the natural resources that are the background and the source of it all, to me that says a lot about this area and its people. I've lived in Michigan all my life and I was familiar with the Petoskey area. I had come here for many years with my family, particularly with ski weekends, which were great memories. And there was a great position at the hospital. And so both for the position and the area, I came here. Once I got here, I fell in love with the hospital and its people, its mission to provide care as we would for our own family. And we are very excited about the success we have had recruiting physicians here. And it's not only physicians, but other types of providers, such as physician assistants, nurse practitioners, et cetera. What I find attracts people here is its location, its beauty, the feeling that people can safely raise a family here, the quality of the schools, and also the types of services that we provide here at the hospital. We hear over and over from physicians that they find it remarkable that a hospital of this size and in this size of community provides the number and range of services that we do. As a child growing up in southeast Michigan, my summers were spent in Emmett County at, on Walloon Lake. And so moving to Emmett County with my own children was very much like coming back to my own childhood. And because the pace of life up here is uh, less hectic than the way it was downstate, I had the opportunity for my children to experience a bit of what my childhood was like. What I appreciate most about the quality of education they get is that they are in a classroom or in a school where they know their classmates and their teachers, not only the teachers that they have every day for their subject matters, but the different grades, different subject matter. It's a, it's a community. Everybody knows everybody and they're held that way. And I've, I've tried to appreciate the fact that because they know one another that way, when they leave this environment, they take that with them. QTR means quality time remaining. And so again, the most important thing that people have is is time and the ability to spend quality time. And, you know, 9-11 really changed the world. And that change, we were already well underway in Bay Harbor, but we looked at that change, and Northern Michigan used to be a place where people waited till they were in their late 50s to buy a retirement house. And what happened with 9-11 is the whole shift went to doing everything 10 years sooner. And people said, I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna do it now, experience it now with my children, and I'm gonna to come to a place where that's available to me, and I'm gonna do it while I'm younger and enjoy the journey with my family versus wait and the kids are growing up and maybe I'll capture the time with my grandkids. 